Hello and welcome to today's web exclusive demo featuring A Quiet View. This collection is so, so lovely and features at its heart a beautiful scene building die and of course some gorgeous animals as well. Let's get started and what I want to bring you within this demonstration is a plain card base but onto that we're going to build in this scene design so we're going to layer up that beautiful artwork. So we've cut from our base a, uh, I think it's five by seven base here, uh, oh, six by eight, let me just double check, six by eight, and this is then going to house the scene which measures just around a six by four, okay, that is going to sit right in the middle to give us a really lovely clean and simple feel where all of the artistry is towards the middle of this design. Onto this design, what I've also included is a little matte layer taken from Craftmaster cardstock. This one's from the Apple Pie collection. And all we've done is taken a look at the Quiet View artwork and decided, do you know what? Let's highlight one of the reflection colors of the artwork, which is a beautiful green from the depths of the trees and the leaves. So we're taking out that color, replicating it in the craft mask card stock, and that gives us our matte layer. Now, because we're making quite a plain and simple card design, we're gonna use lots and lots of height, and that's where the interest for this card is gonna come from. We're gonna build in height and dimension using one mil uh, foam tape. So that's along the back of the scene to attach it to the matte layer like so. So just lining that up, making sure you've got the same amount of matte layer all the way around. And just snipping that into place before we remove the rest of the tape like so. We're just taking the tape off the two edge pieces. The central piece is gonna act as um, a little holder basically for the rest. It's gonna act as a little buffer to make sure we don't get any sag to the middle of the card. We're then gonna mount that whole scene centrally to that card. And because this is like an oversized card base, meaning we've got more white space around it than what we would traditionally use, it really focuses in the eye to the middle. And it also allows us an expansive place into which we can start decoupaging and layering up. Now, the main feature, of course, is this beautiful scene. And from that, we have lots of dies that will cut out the hills, they cut out the foreground, they cut out the fences. You can create little tuck-ins in the foreground as well. But for this one, I want the design to come forward from the card. So we're going to take the detailing for that beautiful arch of the tree and layer that up with a few cuts as well. So once again, just going in with that one mil foam tape along the main structures of this die cut. So areas whereby the tape's not going to be seen, but areas where we can give that a little bit of lift and a little bit of boost from the back of the card background design. Okay, so just going in with a scissors, snipping that tape down and filling in those gaps to make sure it's nice and secure, okay? Building layers like this with a one mil foam tape allows you to create a lot of height and dimension without overloading the card design. And of course, because these layers then sit perfectly on top of that artwork underneath, it gives you this lovely full look to your card design. So that's the first layer down, okay? Little bit of a drop shadow all the way around and it's really bringing in this inclusion, it's bringing in this area where our story is going to be told. We're going to layer more tree, but what we're going to do is take elements from that. So we're going to double layer for a start and then we can also snip in to the die card as well to create even more fullness, even more lushness to those leaves and that greenery as well. It really makes it feel nice and cosy on the front of your card design. So a little bit of foam tape along, just as we did with the last layer, and then double layering just gives you this full effect to your card design. So again, with that one mil foam tape, and again, layering up. It doesn't matter at this stage if you have your layers slightly offset from one another, it gives you that dimension as well. For the next layer, we're gonna trim. So we're gonna trim away the background layers of the branches, the background layers of the leaves, anything that could create more of kind of an arch, if you like. So we're just taking our scissors and following that cut line detail along. We've taken that section off and we can then pop that whole tree on. So it's giving you this kind of, I don't know, tunnel effect, if you like, from the background forwards. Just keep layering. As we've mentioned, we're only using 
a one mil foam tape on this, so it's not gonna overload the card design, but it still adds in that sense of dimension to your card as well. Gonna go in with a little bit of foam just in these areas to lift those branches too. And of course, if you're making this at home or you're making similar at home, what you can always choose to do is add more layers. You can select your decoupage because these are printable downloads from our website, highlightcrafts.com. You can print as many as you like, which really gives you full control over the amount of decoupage and the amount of layers you want to add to this design. Just nestling that in. Again, don't worry too much if it goes off center a little bit, it's absolutely fine. These things in nature aren't precise, are they? They are meant to give you this feel, to give you this design. So for the last layer, what I'm gonna do is, as we often do with decoupage, start by cutting away the same layer that we previously cut. So it makes sure we're following those same guidelines. We're following that same idea of what we are creating for this card. Okay, so that's the same layer we've just put down. But this time around, let's just cut a little bit of the leaves away to make those branches really stand out and overlap as well. So just trimming that away. And let's look to the design and think, okay, let's just take these little areas away too. So just look to the artwork for inspiration, think, okay, what areas are gonna be more dense? Which ones do I want to come forward? Which ones do I want to push back? And select your decoupage areas accordingly, okay? So just trimming that round. Again, just letting the scissors fall into and travel down the cut lines that are laid down for you. Anything like this we can always keep because these could come in and embellish further down. They could be hedgerow, they could be, um, foreground, it could be anything that you really like, or use them in a different project. You know, you've got that option as well. Trimming and along the top, just making sure we capture any little bits that could end up being vulnerable with a little bit of foam. And let's just squidge down and almost treat the foam tape like a foam pad coming in right to the ends of those branches there and a little bit of an anchor point, again, just where it could be considered vulnerable, like so, just so we've got enough security around that whole piece to make sure that's nice and secure. Again, removing the backing paper on that and layering like so. So even though we have one, two, three, four, five, six layers, it's not overwhelming the card. You get a lovely sense of decoupage without it being too much there as well. Next up, let's tell our story. So we've got the beautiful, beautiful florals within this collection. And actually this tells the story in a really great way because what you've got is the choice of the three different layers there. So you've got the background in this kind of mottled effect, a little bit more abstract. We have the mid ground, if you want, with the, the lupins, the hollyhocks coming forward, lovely colors. And then you have the flowers attached to this band. So if you want to, you can layer them like so to give you a really full effect. Or like um, Vicky has done in this design, look how you can tuck those little flowers behind an aperture, you've got a nice room and, and amount of their area to stick, but also it's gonna allow you that detailing as well. So what we're gonna do with this one is gonna check our positioning. We're gonna slip part of the design behind the tree there, because it might be that you want to create it like this. I'm gonna show you a few options here. Create it so Everything tucks behind the trunk, so you could do this in layers, you could come in and take elements away, add elements to. And these flowers, you can snip away from this base if you want to and just have them laid where you want as well. We can trim them down so they fit within the realms of the card, but it also depends on what story you want to tell. Maybe it's a story of this magnificent cat. Look how he sits grounded within the flowers there, just under the tree. Maybe you want him more central to the aperture kind of design you've created with the branches overflowing. Gorgeous, gorgeous design there. Again, you could decoupage that layer up if you wanted to. But I think the story we've got to tell is with this gorgeous puppy and her babies in the foreground there. This is so, so sweet. Lovely little design like so. And we can then add in another one 
of our little characters just in the tree. So again, you've got different sizes within these two to give you options here, okay? So I think that's the story we're gonna go with. Lovely puppy in the foreground with her babies. I love the one snuggled on the paw. I think that is super, super cute. And then just this extra little design where you've got a little owl sitting in the tree there as well, okay? So let's just measure. Let's just think, okay, where's this gonna stop? Where's this gonna end? And just cut into our design. Of course, if you wanted to, you could stick this layer down first, but I wanted it within the realms of the tree here. So you get that sense of everything is kind of coming forward from the design there. So that's our background. Lovely top to this. And in fact, you know what? Cut this from black card as well. Give you a silhouette outline to use within your designs. I'm gonna add in the little top here. Just to get that little bit of lift from the background and just sneak this little end, tuck that in to one of the tree layers, making sure this little part lines up with the bottom edge and the front of the card design as well. Next layer comes in and look how this really is transformative. As soon as you put the next layer into the trees there, you've got that pop of color. So you're taking away from that green and adding in a little bit of detailing there as well. Let's go ahead and snip down these flowers. Again, following the little leaves. And of course, those can go into our box for a project for another day. Remember, if you wanted to, you could stick these down first before you stick the tree down. But again, it depends on placement. It depends on how you want these things to look. So we're just figuring out where to cut to allow them to come over and sit over the leaves like so. I think we're gonna take it a little bit further in. And cut away these little detailings as well. And each time just offering it up, seeing how it sits within the grand scheme. And there, so each one of these layers is just giving you that extra little bit, that extra little bit of detailing in the foreground of your design as well. Once again, going in with that foam. Now I'd recommend for these layers to use a foam because it's then gonna be all at the same height. It's gonna be all at the same level. And that just makes things a little bit easier when we come to add in the characters on top. Okay, so little flaws in the foreground. And now is the time we can add in our little puppies. So we're gonna shape, round them out. This time around, I am gonna use a little bit of pin flare glue gel just on the area where we've given that height. And I'm gonna have her coming over the edge. So remember how we talked about this design whereby you're escaping the realms or the edge of the scene and coming over. It just gives you that option there. What we can also do, again, think about your anchoring points too. Let's just grab a little bit of glue, bookbinding glue in this case, and switch out a little bit of glue on our desk as well as one of our Craftmaster glue applicators, super, super handy for getting in those little areas with a little bit of glue and not overwhelming the project at all. So a little bit of glue on the back of that paw. Again, looking for placements, so we're coming over the edge of the card design, but making it feel quite natural. So it's not like a staggered, you're stopping at one part of the card and then coming into another, just holding the glue applicator over the area where we're sticking so it grabs. Might need a little bit more glue on there. Doop. And holding so it grabs. And then we're gonna embellish this further, as I say, with that little owl in the tree and also a few of the little colored flowers to make those colors pop even further. Let's just sneak our owl down, trim away the end so we're offering him up just seeing where he sits. So he looks like he's sitting on this branch or part of this branch within the design there. Round him and shape him. And again, add in a little bit of glue on the back. Pop that in like so. So he kind of, he's looking on, he's kind of just surveying what's going on. And again, let's break this sort of brown area up behind our little puppies. As we've said, you can go ahead and snip these florals away from the base layer there. These can tuck in around our little doggy to frame and just add in those extra little colors to complement the beautiful colors you've got going on in the background there as well. Now, because we're using smaller elements, let's just grab our tweezers and just lift these elements. We can dab them in the glue and have them just coming out and around 
the side of the doggy. So you're telling the story, you've got little, um, what would you call, a little composition around this area of the dog in the background. We're gonna have a little composition here behind this side as well. Just turning my tweezers so I can get right in and behind. And having the choice between using them on the strip or being able to cut them away and tuck them as you want to tuck them as well does really lend itself to a whole host of different ways of crafting with these. One little flower left, let's just use that in the foreground as well. Pop that there. And there, you're having this wonderful idea where this beautiful scene is playing out, but the foreground is just popping as well. Of course, if you wanted to, you could add decoupage layers to those characters to bring them forward even more. But there we have a lovely little card created with a quiet you. Now, if you're looking for this collection, uh, you can pop on the comments and click within the links in the description. And do share with us your designs that you make with this collection over on our Facebook group, Highlight Crafts Official as well. Thank you very much for joining me with this demonstration and I will see you again very, very soon. If you would like to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications on all our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.